Today is January 25th, 2019. I'm Brent Nally. One of the most recent books that I read a few months ago is called Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams by Matthew Walker. There are many chemicals in your brain and body that are important for you to get a good night's sleep. Adenosine is probably the most important chemical that most people do not know about. Adenosine is a chemical that slowly builds throughout the day until it gets too much in your brain and you have a strong urge to want to go to sleep. Matthew Walker describes adenosine as sleep pressure. So when it gets too much in your brain, you feel strong pressure to go to sleep. This works in conjunction with something completely separate called your suprachiasmatic nerve, which is the scientific term for what we most likely know is called circadian rhythm. <laughs> These two factors work in conjunction together when we're getting to bed at about the same time every single night and waking up at about the same time every single morning, which is why that's so important. So my wife and I traveling the world, 25 different countries in 2018, this was very difficult for us, especially as I learned about it and still sometimes could not match up the adenosine and your suprachiasmatic nerve. So generally speaking, it's about one day for every hour of traveling across different time zones to make that up. Melatonin is recommended by Dr. Matthew Walker in this case to make that up. Although Matthew Walker isn't convinced that melatonin is 100% helpful, it could just be placebo, but there doesn't seem to be any negative side effects from taking melatonin. Sleep deprivation has devastating effects on our society. Matthew Walker is very passionate about this and he focuses on two main things in his book and in many interviews that I've listened to on YouTube. Number one, if you don't get enough sleep, it strongly affects your ability to drive a car. And this is really sad that we don't have better public service announcements about this staggering statistic, which is that sleep deprivation causes more car accident deaths than alcohol, pharmaceutical drugs that are legal, and illegal drugs combined. So think about all the times you've heard don't drink and drive and that we actually can test for you know, your blood alcohol levels in your body. So that's why that's illegal. It is illegal also to be high on any type of pharmaceutical or illegal drugs like marijuana although those are much harder for a police officer to test, so we just don't hear about that as much in society and from the government. However, if you think about it, if you're a little bit drunk or if you're on a little bit of a pharmaceutical or marijuana, it might affect your ability to swerve or to react. But if you are falling asleep, that's where the accidents lead to death because you're asleep, you're not cognizant whatsoever. So this is something that I've become very passionate about. It's not just your responsibility to sleep for yourself. You need to be thinking about others because imagine if you accidentally killed somebody because you didn't get the proper sleep from driving a car, of course, in this context. The other thing that leads into this and is slightly connected is our school times and our work times in the US in modern day society. So we are starting school way too early, and the reason we're starting school way too early is primarily because parents have to get to work by a specific time because of our work culture in America in 2019. The suprachiasmatic nerve that I've talked about is different with teenagers from what it is as adults. So sadly, kids who are teenagers are having their suprachiasmatic nerve telling them that they wanna to go to sleep around 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., and then they need about 10 hours of sleep. So that would put them at waking up naturally around 9 to 11 or so in the morning. Yet we're trying to start school for them at 7 a.m., 6.30, 7.30. This is complete madness if our goal really is to educate these children, which clearly it's not because the science is out and most school systems are not changing. Matthew Walker has pointed out a few of the school systems in our society in the U.S. that have pushed back start times for school about an hour and the impact is phenomenal. Not only have test scores dramatically risen over the year that they have increased the start time about a, an hour a day or an hour on an average day, but also the amount of teenage deaths from car accidents in the morning have dramatically gone down in those areas where the children are going to school. 
So this should be impactful information that you should be sharing with your friends and family and community and school systems because this has got to change and it needs to change immediately. If you have a teenager or know a teenager, give them a flippin' break. They are trying to go to bed around maybe 10 or 9 or maybe even 11 when their brains and bodies are really telling them they want to go to sleep around 11 to 1 a.m. in the morning. That is the natural time. Matthew Walker goes in depth in the book about why this may be because of our hunter-gatherer-like history as Homo sapiens sapiens and how it was beneficial for a tribe to be sleeping at different times so that they could be protected from certain predation and other type of environmental factors that could endanger the entire tribe. So this makes perfect evolutionary sense. Oh, sorry, I was just asleep. Um, so one more thing before we go. Um, in case this wasn't exciting enough for you and you fell asleep, your brain will actually fall asleep when it doesn't get the proper sleep that it needs. And this is called micro sleep. So we've all probably experienced this in class when we were younger or maybe at work when you're just bored out of your mind or something like that. And your brain will get the sleep that it needs. So just remember that. If you're thinking of cutting corners or trying to only get five hours, six hours, you're just hurting yourself because your brain's gonna catch up on that sleep and it's gonna get it when it needs it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can get updates on videos that are gonna drastically change your life primarily for free.